When you want to work with SVG files in your project, for example for a logo or for an icon for such a Twitter link, Kirby has a few ways to help you with that and I want to show you how in this video. So for this demo I'm going to grab a placeholder logo from logoipsum.com, um, pretty useful. So you can click on the logo here and that will give you the SVG code in your clipboard. And now we can go into our editor and create a new folder for it. And I will place it into assets, create a new folder there called icons. And within icons, I would create a new file called logo SVG. It really doesn't matter where you place that. I mean, you can have your own folder structure. This is just the way how I would do it. But Kirby doesn't really care about that. So now we have our logo SVG and our logo would be linked in our header PHP snippet. So this is the part where the logo is placed so far and you can see we use the site title as a little placeholder here. And now we can replace that with an image element. And the good old way would be to go to our icons folder logo SVG and include it like that, like that with, a, with a relative path. Um, so if you reload that, you can see our placeholder is now showing up and we have a proper logo in here. One thing we can do to, to improve this is we can wrap this path in a URL helper. So this will make sure that whatever is in there will always be absolute. So it will, Kirby will automatically place the domain or the domain plus the subfolder in which your site is installed uh, in front of this path. You can write it like this, you can keep the slash, it doesn't really matter, I prefer to write it like this. And then when we inspect the source code, we can see that Kirby gave us the full absolute URL to this SVG file. So that's one thing you can do. And um, the cool thing about this is whenever you upload this to your server, for example, Kirby will automatically replace this with the correct URL on your server. So um, yeah, you always have a clean URL here for your source. And um, most of the times, but what we really want is we want to include the SVG file as SVG. So we have more control over it um, via CSS, for example. So one way to go would again be the classic way to just copy whatever is in your logo SVG and then paste it here. And that would work fine and it's it's totally cool. But we can do this instead with our asset helper. And then again, go to logo SVG. So I could have kept that path, but you get the idea. So now we have a, um, we've created an asset object and the asset object is the same thing as a file object in Kirby. So now we have reference this and now we can work with this. So for example, we could echo the URL of this and then we get the full URL to the S to the logo or we can inspect it. So we can say, okay, what is the width of this logo, uh, the height, etc. So with SVGs, we have a couple things that we can do with this. Um, if this would be a JPEG file or a PNG, we could even resize that or crop it with, as with uh, other file objects in Kirby. Um, but for this SVG, we have the option to get the URL, the width, the height, etc. So now if we echo this as an object, we get the same result as the image before. So Kirby will automatically know this is an image file and it will create the HTML for the image for us. So that would be a shorter way to write it and then it would create the image for us. Um, but what we actually wanted, as I said before, is we want to include the full SVG code from the SVG file of the logo. And we can use the read method here. So that basically will read the content of that file and echo it in our browser, so in, in within our HTML code here. So reloading it again, it looks the same as it should. But if we open it in the inspector, you can see it now pasted all the SVG code in here. And this is super cool because now we have full control via CSS, so we could recolor the circle or the ellipse via CSS. Um, yeah, have more control than with just the image tag. So those are the, the simple ways that you can work with uh, external assets, SVG files and other image files um, in Kirby and load them or include them like this. 
Thank you very much for watching. Bye-bye.